Hello everyone, I am Dr. Anunit Sabarwal. I am a consultant psychiatrist at Infinity Clinic. Today I am going to talk about alcohol addiction. So what is alcohol addiction? Alcohol addiction is also commonly called alcoholism. It can affect any one of us. So what causes alcohol addiction? Experts have tried to delineate the, positive, the possible factors uh, leading to alcohol addiction. But there is no single cause that has been found. Alcoholism usually occurs as a result of a multitude of factors, including psychological, genetic, and behavioral and environmental factors. How do we diagnose someone who has alcohol addiction or alcoholism? Alcohol addiction to be diagnosed needs to be observed clinically for at least about a year before it is diagnosed. So we need to have uh, some of the following symptoms or clinical features to diagnose alcohol addiction. They include gradually progressive use of alcohol, evidence of withdrawal symptoms when alcohol is not taken, evidence of tolerance or an increase in the end. They include gradually progressive use of alcohol, evidence of withdrawal symptoms when alcohol is not consumed. This can be both physical as well as uh, psychological. Evidence of tolerance, that is, in need for increased uh, quantities of alcohol over a period of time. Neglect of other alternative activities, pursuits and interests. And also persistence and perseverance of consumption of alcohol despite knowing that it is harming one's life and the people around them. What are the health complications that alcohol can cause? Alcohol addiction can result in heart disease, liver disease, ulcers, it can worsen diabetes, sexual problems, uh, birth defects, bone loss, vision problems, increased risk of cancer and also suppressed immune function. Other than these, some of the other health complications that alcoholism can cause are behavioral, the most common of which is drunken driving. For instance, uh, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention uh, notes drunk driving to be related to at least 28 deaths in accidents in the United States. Drinking is also associated with an increased incidence of suicide as well as homicide. So how do we manage someone who has an alcohol addiction? Management of alcohol addiction has a few steps that need to be followed. So you must absolutely consult a psychiatrist in the first instance. Once alcohol addiction or alcoholism is diagnosed, management is divided into immediate, short term and long term. All of these, uh, all of these management protocols can be undertaken as OPD as well as IPD based treatment. So what happens when a patient is first diagnosed with alcohol addiction? The first thing that we need to do is detoxify the person. Detoxification process can happen on an OPD as well as an IPD basis. Detoxification requires medications as well as some lifestyle changes to rid the body completely of alcohol. The next step in management is rehabilitation. For rehabilitation, people are usually admitted in rehabilitation centers for a period of at least three months and up to a maximum of six months. Following which, there are also support groups that people can join. The most famous of these is Alcoholics Anonymous, which is again a 12-step program towards recovery. If you think you have an alcohol problem or know someone who does, you can consult me on Librate or you can visit my clinic at 113 Rambihar, New Delhi. Thank you very much and I wish you all the best 